Welcome back little monkey fans. It's Carrie here and today we're going way up to the treetop toy box for an amazing Playmobil Fairies review. First we have a Playmobil Special Plus item 5370 which is a fairy with a deer. Look at her beautiful scepter. Item 5442 flower fairy with unicorn sunbeam. She looks beautiful. Item 5444 fairy island with jewel fountain. And this one's going to need some batteries because we have a light up gemstone here. Look at how amazing that looks. Item 5445, which is our fairy queen ship. And we also have the direct service underwater motor add on set, item 5159, so we can make this zoom around in the water. Item 5446, unicorn carriage with butterfly fairy. We have items 5548 and 5449, which are our two forest fairies. So we have Forest Fairy Diana with a horse. Oh cool, it looks like she has a falcon up there. And then we have Forest Fairy Surya with her horse. Item 5623, which is our fairy club. And finally, item 6055, which is our fairies with Toadstool House. And it almost looks like she's a healing fairy because it has these super cool leaf wraps on some of our unicorns. That means we have nine Playmobil sets in total with one direct service add-on set. I just can't wait to check out all of these super cool sets. Well, let's get opening. And here's our beautiful fairy with her deer. This is a five piece set and it has some cool features. First we have our deer and it is so pretty. I love how it's white and it has all of these shimmery silver spots on it. And I'm not sure if you can tell on camera but it has almost indigo type colored eyes. So kind of a deep blue purple. It's so pretty. And then same spots on the other side and it has these wonderful golden antlers up front. And here's our beautiful fairy. Look at that magnificent scepter she has in her hand. So you can pop that out and it has that beautiful gem inside of there. I love that. She has long beautiful gloves on and this great pattern on the front of her outfit. And I love her purple fish braid here. I just wish it was kind of shimmery because it's actually kind of a flat purple but it's still beautiful. And then around back she has her amazing wings. And she has no shoes. She comes barefoot. And there's our fairy with deer set. And here's our flower fairy with our unicorn sunbeam and it's a beautiful 39 piece set. So on back we have this beautiful greenery with a bunch of roses and different white flowers on it. And we can even put some bows on there as well. We have our flower base here that our flower fairy can actually use to stand but she does stand pretty well on her own already. But she can also use the base. And let's check out our flower fairy. She has this beautiful speckle type basket in her hand so she can collect some flowers maybe. That'll pop right out. And it looks like she's picked a rose from the tree. And here she is. Look at her beautiful silvery lace ups on her legs and then also up on her arms. That's so pretty. And I absolutely love all of the bright yellow and silver on her top and then her wonderful wings around back. And here's Sunbeam. She is just as beautiful as our flower fairy. I love her golden mane and tail and she has the same silvery lace ups on her legs as well. And I love the silvery flower pattern on her body as well. And the super pretty thing she has this harness on here that actually allows you to decorate it with some bows or different types of flowers. And so you could pop that off and you could decorate it with a whole bunch of different types of flowers if you'd like. And of course she has her beautiful horn up front. She's so pretty. And there's our flower fairy with unicorn sunbeam. And here's our fairy island with jewel fountain set. And it comes with 133 spectacular pieces. We have this magnificent tree around back and it has all of these rubbery type leaves in two different shades. That is so cool. I love that. Then we have this little structure here as well. So we have all of these different types of flowers on it. We have a slide off lantern and this even glows in the dark. How cool is that? And then we have an amazing pendant with a blue jewel and you can slide it on a string and actually turn it into a necklace for yourself to wear. Then up front we have a little swan family and we have three babies. And I absolutely love how the babies can slide up and ride on their mummy or daddy's back. So they can just pop on out. We've got this cool dock up here that leads off into the water section and we have our first fairy and she is beautiful. So both fairies come with their own base that can pop right off and she is all pink and blue and she has this beautiful wand and it even has a star gem on it. I love that. 
She's got a hair accessory in her beautiful blue fishtail braid. And then she has some great big wings around back. And our next fairy is on this cool spinning base. And so there's three flower bases here. So you could have three different fairies that could ride up here. And so that could spin all the way around. So you can make it like they're flying around. And here's our second fairy that came with the set. She is so pretty. I absolutely love how she has almost flower petals on the bottom of her skirt. And then she has two tones on top. And look, she even has a beautiful star gem in the center. And then she's got some cool accessories. She has this fantastic golden scepter with a blue gem. Then she has some golden bangles as well. And then I love how she has see-through wings around back. So pretty. Next we have our beautifully colored unicorn. I absolutely love how it has the blue horn on top and then this lime green mane and tail. I love that color combination. The other cool features with our base is these purple stepping stones and those lead us up to our fantastic jewel fountain. And here it is. We have these amazing petals and these will actually cover up our jewel fountain. And so all of these can flip up and they can all rotate. And so you can shape them however you want to either open up around your jewel fountain or to close it up so it's hidden. And the super cool thing is that we have these gem stones inside of here. We have all these different shapes and sizes and colors of these gem stones and they help to reflect the light within our gemstone fountain as well. And those are real stones. And then we have this cool button up front that we can push to light it up. So it'll fade through a bunch of different colors. We have yellow and green and blue and pink, and kind of an orangey part. And it will reflect off of all of these different colored stones as well. I just love that feature. And around the back side, you can see we have this little cave part underneath our tree. That's pretty cool. So you could pretend that this is in the water part. And that little animals could swim into there if you'd like. And then you can see the back side of our jewel fountain, these beautiful petals. And then we can fold them on down and protect our jewel fountain. That is so cool. And there's our fairy island with jewel fountain. And here is the magnificent fairy queen ship. It has 43 pieces in total and there are some cool features, that's for sure. Well, let's start with our two fantastic fairies first. And here's our first fairy. She has this beautiful scepter with almost a pearl-like gem on top. And that can pop out of her hand. And look at her beautiful wings. There's a gem on each one. And she has these fantastic bracelets on both of her wrists. And she has a beautifully colored outfit. And it even has a little bit of glitter in it. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it has some shimmer in it. And it's super long around back. And like all of our fairies, she has her wing harness here. So you could pop that off if you didn't want her wings on the entire time. So beautiful. And here's our amazing fairy queen. I absolutely love her headdress here and that's covering over top of her bun around back. Then she has this beautiful flower gem on the top part of her outfit and some really long gloves on both arms. And I think the pattern on her dress is so beautiful. In her other hand, she's carrying this super cool wand and she must be the queen because her wings are spectacular. Look how big they are. The only thing that can make these look any more beautiful is maybe if we had a little bit of glitter or some gems on them, but they are so pretty. And there's our fairy queen. Other accessories that come with our set, we have this super cute basket of flowers. I like the detail on the front of our ship. We have some swirly bits here and we have another glow in the dark lantern. And we have this super cute owl. It'll pop on off and you could place it around different spots on the ship. And on the back side of our boat, we have another hanging lantern and we have this beautiful peacock. And so just like our owl, it can pop on off and you can put it on different spots around the ship where the feet can just clip onto. Look at the beautiful colors on the back feathers. That is so cool. We have another pendant, except this one has a pink heart jewel. And you can see how you can slide it on a string and make it into a necklace for yourself. So the ship itself is pretty cool. We've got this wonderful patterns on each side of our ship. We've got our long mast in the middle with some flags up top and even a flower on the tippy tippy top. In the center part, we have this beautiful archway here and it has a leaf coverage so our fairies could get some shade underneath that side of the boat. And then we have this fantastic rudder so our characters could use this to steer our ship. 
in the front of the ship, we have two clear bases here, and those are connected into the floor, and that helps your characters to stand. So when you're actually using it with the motor in water, it can prevent them from toppling over, which is so fantastic. And the last accessory that we need to add is our direct service add-on underwater motor. And here it is. So we put in one AA battery. It has a rudder in the back here that you can turn so your ship can just go in circles, or you can have it going straight. In order to turn it on, you twist it. You can see the back propeller move and we just slide it on. I can't wait to get this in some water and see how it floats. And there's our Fairy Queen ship. And here's our unicorn carriage with butterfly fairy. It has 23 fantastic pieces and I absolutely love the carriage. Let's start with our fairy first. And here's our butterfly fairy. Look at her beautiful wings. They're a little bit see-through and they do have some glittery bits on it. They might be a little bit hard to see, but they look so pretty. She has this great scepter. And look at her beautiful outfit. I love again how it looks kind of like leaves or flower petals. She has this beautiful heart gem in the center around her waist. And then these gold bracelets on each arm. She's so pretty. And there's her wings around back. And there's our butterfly fairy. And here's our unicorn and carriage. They're so cool. I love how our unicorn has a silver horn and matching mane and tail. So let's unhook her from our carriage. She has a beautiful pink saddle and then she's got this different netting on her. So that adds a little bit of color to her body, which is great. And the carriage hooks onto these great golden pieces on her saddle. That's pretty neat as well. And then look, she's got this fantastic green jewel on the back of her body. Very pretty. And here's our carriage. I love these pieces here because they're bright, bright green and they almost look like vines and they're very flexible plastic. And so they can really be maneuvered around. We have this fantastic pattern on the wheel and they spin very, very nicely. In the carriage itself, there's a ton of space. We could probably fit two characters in here if we really wanted to. And they have a golden handlebar up front to hang on. And there's our unicorn carriage with butterfly fairy. <coughs> And here's our two forest fairies. Let's start with forest fairy Diana first. She comes in a 14 piece set, including her horse and two great animals. We have our little fox up front here and that head will move up and down. And then she also has a falcon up on her stick here. And here she is. I love all of the green coloring that she has on her outfit. She's got some green lace ups with some jewels and gems on the side, as well as on her upper arm. She has beautiful green wings around back as well. There's even a little bit of glitter in them and that really makes them shimmer. She has a bow accessory in her one hand, but she doesn't come with any arrows or a quiver. And I'm assuming that's because it wouldn't fit on her back with her wings there as well. So that can pop on out. And here's her falcon. So it's perched up on the top part of her stick. And it has this cover on its head because they would keep the blinders on until they wanted to release it. So you can pop that off to see the head of our falcon. That's such a cool feature. Now that she's free of her accessories, you can see her beautifully colored top here as well. Her horse is very pretty with its blonde mane and tail and it even has some blonde speckles on it and it looks like some little furry bits on the bottom by the hoofs. And next we have our forest fairy, Surya. So she comes with a base as well. Looks like her little forest animal is a badger. I love the coloring on the front. She comes with an identical horse to Diana. The only exception is that she comes with this pinky purple mane and tail and spots on the body. And here's Surya, she's very beautiful. I love her musical instrument and that'll pop out of her hand. She has smaller wings around back than Diana did. Uh, but hers are just as glittery and so it makes them shimmer very nicely. And I love the different patterns on her leggings and then her top. And she also has this very beautiful, almost like a pink sapphire type gem on the top of her outfit as well. Fantastic. And there's our forest fairies with their horses. And next, here's our fairy club. This 131 piece set is super cute. So starting up front, we have our first young fairy. She has this wand in her hand and it's so shiny on the top part. She has on a super sweet outfit. I love the flowers on her tutu and her crown on top. Around back, she has pink wings. Our second little fairy was watering the garden. She has this water can accessory and I absolutely love her flower hat. So it looks like petals all around with a yellow center. And around back, she has some yellow wings. The set also comes with a beautiful unicorn. It's 
got a great long horn up top and a pink mane and tail. And our last character must run our fairy club. So she's got a crown on top and I absolutely love this golden stem flower and it's almost fluorescent the color of the flower on top. I'm not sure if you can really tell that on camera but it's very bright. I love the rose pattern on her outfit. She has some beautiful pinky purple wings around back. The base itself has some cool features. We've got a dock up front here and this can actually swivel around so you can move it out if you wanted or you can keep it tucked in close to the main base. So we have a whole bunch of different flower details, some cattails up front. We've got some different vines growing on the rocks in the back. We have another fantastic tree around back of this set. And again, it's really, really rubbery leaves. I just love that. It feels so real. Then we have this cool cave around the underside of our tree. Got some more flowers and a little rock here. In the center of our structure, we have our beautiful flower type throne. I love how it's made out of different leaves and it's surrounded by all of these different beautiful long stemmed roses. And hiding around back, we have a super cool golden chest and we can pop it open to reveal a bunch of stone gems. And there's our fairy club. And last we have our fairies with toadstool house. This is 109 pieces and it has some super awesome accessories. Let's start up front with our characters. Here's our larger fairy. She has beautiful big purple wings around back and I love her shimmery pink purple hair. Around side on her tights she has this wonderful pattern of pink and purple swirls. I love that. And then in her hand she has this basket accessory with a golden apple that is super cool. And so that apple actually came from our side tree here. And you can see we have a whole bunch of other golden apples that can be picked. And there's our larger fairy. Our second character is super cute. She's carrying some type of potion or elixir in this container and that can pop right out of her hand. I absolutely love her shimmery purple hair. I've never seen a younger character with hair like that so far. She has really cute pink fairy wings around back and she has an adorable tutu on. And our third character is way up top in our toadstool house. She has a beautiful kind of aqua and turquoisey green outfit on and she's got lots of flower detail on her tutu as well as her top. And she's carrying this golden scepter with a diamond jewel on top. And she has a very light green type wings around back. And her hair is a shimmery gold. I just love that, that they made the younger characters with that type of hair. And then we have all of our other accessories. So it doesn't say that our fairies in the set are really healing fairies, but all of the accessories are like that. So we've got three different unicorns that are included in the set and all of them have these wonderful bandages on them. So if we take a look at our biggest unicorn, here it is. I love all of the flower detail on its body and the shimmery horn up top. And then you can see they each have this leaf wrap. And so that comes right off of their leg and it just looks like a rubbery leaf. And so it's very soft and it'll just wrap right around them. I love that. So it's like they'd maybe put some elixir on there to help if they have a wound and then wrap it with a leaf to keep it nice, clean and dry and help it heal super fast. Our next unicorn is laying down and you can see it has another leaf wrap on the bottom. And then this one actually has a bright pink horn and again, another leaf wrap. So it's almost like they've come here to be healed by our fairies. The set comes with a small and a larger hay bed for the unicorns. We have a basket with some more containers. Maybe those are more elixirs to help heal any sort of sick animals. We have a basket full of grooming tools. So this would be to help take care of all of the different types of unicorns. So we've got a bunch of different types of brushes. That one's like a hoof cleaning tool. And then a couple more brushes. We have this cool bucket of water with an insert that actually looks like there's some shimmery water inside. That's cool. Around this side of our toadstool house, we have this fantastic vine and it has a bunch of different flowers growing on it and this super cool owl that can pop right off the base. And look, it has pink wings around the back. That is so cool. And so this owl can be perched up on different parts of our other tree or back up on the vine. Then if we take a look at our toadstool itself, we have some birdies hanging out. We have this amazing bottle that's filled with golden glitter. I love that. So none of that glitter will come out, but it looks super cool. And then we have a golden chest can store some different things inside. And the upper part of our toadstool is just enough space for one of our smaller characters to be up there. And then down in our base, we have room for some of our injured or sick unicorns to sleep. 
Then if we take a look at the back side of our toadstool, it's pretty plain, but you can see all the different polka dots that we have up on top. And our last structure has a bit of a pond in there, along with our tree holding our golden apple. So there's a whole bunch of different apples up here that can be picked, which I think is so neat. And down here, we have a little duck family. This looks like three baby ducks and maybe a daddy duck because it's got a bunch of different colors on it. And usually it's the boy ducks that have more color on them than the women. So that's pretty cool as well. And there's our fairies with toadstool house. I love this set. And there's all nine of our Playmobil fairies play sets. Little monkey fans, do you remember? What type of bird did our forest fairy Diana have on her walking stick? Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our treetop, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We've opened now for toys!